What is creatine? Creatine is an energy-related nutrient formed in the body from the amino acids arginine, methionine, and glycine. Creatine can also be found in our diet, in foods such as meat or fish. Under periods of high energy demand, the amount of work we're able to perform is often limited by our body's ability to rapidly generate the universal cellular energy molecule known as adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. Like the recharging of a battery, creatine plays a major role in recharging spent ATP back into usable energy. And because of this process, our cells can generate emergency energy very quickly without having to engage the entire cellular assembly line involved in producing energy from carbohydrates or fats. On a molecular level, cellular energy is expended when ATP splits and releases one of its phosphate groups, becoming ADP, or adenosine diphosphate, in the process. When stored in our cells, creatine just so happens to be bound to phosphate in the form of a chemical known as creatine phosphate. When our cells are stressed and need to produce energy quickly, creatine phosphate is able to donate its phosphate group in order to rapidly regenerate ATP. In muscles, this rapid energy regeneration can lead to short bursts of increased strength and power. This is precisely why creatine supplements have been widely embraced by athletes, especially those whose sports require quick bursts of energy and muscular strength. In fact, weightlifters, bodybuilders, sprinters, football players, and the like have been reaping the performance-enhancing benefits of creatine supplementation for almost two full decades. But despite the common misconception, the benefits of creatine aren't just limited to athletes and workout enthusiasts. After middle age, for example, muscle loss has been estimated to occur at a rate of approximately 1% per year. As a direct result, by the time they reach old age, many men and women become handicapped by frailty, weakness, and the inability to perform even simple tasks. Several recent studies have shown that creatine may be able to improve muscle mass, strength, and the ability to perform everyday tasks in middle age and elderly individuals. In older, more sedentary people, creatine's role in improving muscular strength may manifest in something as simple as being able to get out of a chair without assistance, or in being able to climb a flight of stairs. But by helping elderly individuals maintain or regain the ability to perform such day-to-day -day activities, creatine supplementation can have truly life-altering implications. And. Creatine doesn't just improve the efficiency of our muscles, either. Creatine has repeatedly been shown to protect the brain, heart, and nervous system against toxins and stresses, which deplete ATP levels. Creatine has been found to support healthy blood sugar metabolism, reduce mental fatigue, improve cognitive function, support bone health, and to reduce inflammatory substances, which are thought to damage the cardiovascular system. For those who are familiar with this research, creatine is quickly gaining its rightful place among the upper echelon of nutritional, health-promoting, and anti-aging substances. But the stigma of creatine as a mere bodybuilding supplement has blinded many people to the true health-promoting properties of this remarkable nutrient. Along these lines, because creatine has often been deemed guilty by association with other performance-enhancing substances, it's important to state not only what creatine is, but what it isn't. Despite the impression which can be garnered from mainstream media coverage of creatine, creatine is not a hormone or steroid. Creatine is not a hormone precursor, and creatine use is not banned by any major athletic association or government agency in the United States. Hundreds of both short and long-term studies have found creatine to be not only safe, but in all probability remarkably health-promoting. In a practical sense, it's very important to note that the overwhelming majority of research on supplemental creatine has been conducted using pure creatine monohydrate, which, chemically, is simply creatine bound to a water molecule. 
Consumers of creatine supplements should make sure that the product they choose contains only the patented CreaPure, which has repeatedly proven itself to be the purest creatine monohydrate available. For more information on CreaPure creatine monohydrate, as well as other integrated supplements products, we invite you to visit our website, www.integratedsupplements.com. There you'll find audio programs like this one and research-based articles helping you learn the truth about nutritional supplements.